Good evening. This is Facebook Love number 316. I hope you're having a great day. It's very springy and damp and drizzly. And uh, I found some poems that I like, so here I am. Um, the first one is a little new for me and, um, oh, a difficult name to read as well, so I may murder murder this name, myrtleize this name. Uh, and the second one is from one of my chief comforters, Mary Oliver. Had a little bit of a rough week and needed some, some of her work to close things out. But first, I will read this one by Imriaz Darker. The title is Don't Miss Out, Book Right Now for the Journey of a Lifetime. We plan a holiday, a mini break, a long weekend, a stolen week. We trawl the options, seek out the perfect combination of hotel and flight, the distant beach, the extra night, consider packing suitcases, examine the travel clothes and lotions, get as far as tying on our luggage tags. Then I look at you standing here in this pale gray light and think that I have miles and miles to go before I know you. And as in any unknown country, I may wish to travel to your sites and make repeated visits to become familiar with you. We look out of the bedroom window at the usual view and think we may prefer to linger on here where we have each other's endless landscapes to explore where I seek out your shore. You stalk my tigers and the world will say it lost us. This will be our stolen week. Your kiss, my break, my eyes, your lake, your mouth will be my Paris. And as for Machu Picchu, there are other routes than dizzy altitude to render us lightheaded other ways than thin blue air to leave us breathless. And we are here, not away, not far, but where we want to be, still where we were, this red arrow pointing straight at who we are. And you are here. Don't miss out, book right now for the journey of a lifetime by Imraz Darker. Hi, Lucy. The second one today is particularly good for this time of year from Mary Oliver, titled Peonies, because they're about to show up. If you're not paying attention, this is a small font, so you know what happens. These old eyes. Peonies by Mary Oliver. This morning, the green fists of the peonies are getting ready to break my heart as the sun rises, as the sun strokes them with his old buttery fingers and they open, pools of lace, white and pink, and all day the black ants climb over them, boring their deep and mysterious holes into the curls, craving the sweet sap, taking it away to their dark, underground cities, and all day under the shifty wind, as in a dance to the great wedding, the flowers bend their bright bodies and tip their fragrance to the air and rise, their red stems holding all that dampness and recklessness gladly and lightly. And there it is again, beauty, the brave, the exemplary, blazing open. Do you love this world? Do you cherish your humble and silky life? Do you adore the green grass and its terror beneath? Do you also hurry, half-dressed and barefoot, into the garden and softly and exclaiming of their dearness, fill your arms with the white and pink flowers, with their honeyed 
heaviness, their lush trembling, their eagerness to be wild and perfect for a moment before they are nothing forever. Peonies by Mary Oliver. When I was a kid, I used to stare at the peonies. Uh, we had some in our garden in the backyard and our neighbors had them as well. And I was fascinated by all those ants. I just couldn't believe how many there were. Uh, it might have been one of the things that now I look back, I realize that I was probably a poet quite early because the littlest detail is something that gets me um, pretty hyped up. So if you wanna bring peonies in your house though, don't forget to plunge them in deep cold water or you're gonna have ants. <laughs> this is Facebook love number 316. Please don't forget to check out the YouTube channel and like and subscribe and comment. I love that. And also I will link my Patreon page at the end as well if you're interested in the novel as I work along. Have a great evening. Bye.